and I've got the winter bark and winter appearance of some mature white oak trees in my sights right now. I am uh, still at the Fort Ancient State Memorial in Warren County, Ohio, and I did a few other videos this morning of some tulip poplar and beech and Kentucky coffee tree taking advantage of this clear weather and good lighting. And these are almost like twin white oak trees here. They're both about six feet apart. And you can tell they grew up at the same time and one has spread to the uh, east is to, the, to my right here. And the other has spread its crown to the, le to the uh, west or my left. And uh, the middle ground is kind of being shared by these trees. So the crowns grew out where there was sunlight available and they didn't tangle up with each other to any extent. But these two white oak trees have some things in common and there's some things that aren't in common about these two trees. That's why I picked them. These white oak trees get a bark that's a ash gray color. It's more gray than the uh, chinkapin oak. It's a pure gray color and the chinkapin oak has a yellow hue and also a little different appearance in the texture. And here's our white oak. This one's about three feet in diameter. And we've got some chunks, about an inch, inch and a half um, long and maybe an inch wide. And it often leads to a furrowed appearance, especially I'm noticing more on the north side of these trees, they get more of a furrowed appearance. I don't know the reason for that. Some white oaks get uh, like a vertical flake where the bark is flaking. You can see right here, it's flaking in vertical sheets. And it's only flaking on one side and not the other. Again, I don't know the reason for this. I could try to find out. Um, but not all of them get it, but some of them do. And the one tree that it can easily be confused with, the chinkapin oak, does not get that. I've never seen it in the chinkapin oaks. So this could resemble a shagbark hickory, but the flakes only peel off on one side and they don't peel off on both sides and they don't hang loose as much as the shagbark or shellbark hickories. So some variation amongst these two trees. And this is their beautiful winter appearance. These have the lightest shade bark of the oaks in the area covered by this channel. The um, swamp white oak and the bur oak are a shade darker and a shade browner. And the red oaks, the red oak group would be the scarlet, the pin, and the red oak itself are a much darker brown color. So here's our mature white oak trees growing quite tall. These are at least 90 feet high and a mature beech maple forest with some oak in the mix here too.